Imagine an urban development on the scale of Manhattan, emerging from the waters to become a booming commercial district that has the potential to change the face of not only a city but an entire nation. This is an Atlantis-style city project in Africa on the likes that we have never seen before. It may sound like something out of fantasy but one nation is constructing such a city from the ground up. Join us today as we examine this billion-dollar megaproject, which has grown to be one of the largest development projects in the world. A fantastic new coastal city called Eco-Atlantic City, also called Nigeria International Commerce City, is being constructed on Victoria Island near Lagos, Nigeria. It is being constructed on land that has been reclaimed from the Atlantic Ocean primarily to address the severe housing crisis in this mega-city which is expanding at the fastest rate in the world. The Eco-Atlantic project was first envisioned in 2003 as a response to environmental dangers brought on by the flooding of Lagos Bar Beach, and work on its construction started in 2008. The city is enclosed by an 8.5-kilometer long wall and is situated on 10 million square meters of land that is separated from the ocean. It is anticipated to be the size of Manhattan's skyscraper district, with a total of 10 districts. The city will be sustainable and self-sufficient. It serves as a focal point for investors who gain from robust demand-driven development growth and a gateway to the continent's emerging markets. Eco-Atlantic City which blends residential, business, financial, and tourist accommodations in a setting supported by cutting-edge, high-tech infrastructure, is slated to usher in the next generation of real estate in Africa. China Communications Construction Group, a business that specializes in landfill operations and marine dredging, was allowed to build the city. It will take around six years to complete the project's first phase, which entails dredging the dam and filling it with sand. The basis of the city will be built using 91 million cubic meters of sand across a total length of 6,500 meters and an average width of 1,260 meters. The Great Wall of Lagos, a planned 8.5 kilometers long barrier made mostly of granite and covered in concrete acropode armor, also serves as a coastline revetment for protection. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to this channel for more informative videos if you're interested in learning more about multi-billion dollar construction projects throughout the globe. The first phase of the urban development contains a development plan that was unveiled by South Energix Nigeria, the developer and urban planning firm for the Eco-Atlantic City. One of the structures that will be constructed as part of Eco-Atlantic City's first phase is a 26-story structure called Azuri Peninsula. There will be 120 luxury apartments there. The development will also have a five-star marina and yacht club, as well as upscale stores, cafes, a variety of services, and a beautiful walkway. The award-winning global design will be preserved by the architecture, which will also offer the most affordable area to live, work, play, and invest. The project's second phase is anticipated to span two years. In this phase, top-notch road construction, drainage system building, and the construction of a self-sustaining power plant will all be done. Additionally, it will establish a water supply, sewage network, and treatment systems similar to those found in advanced cities all over the world. According to some, Eco-Atlantic can help with Lagos's worst economic downturn. The metropolis is anticipated to add 250,000 new employment in 30 years and handle the housing problem brought on by the expanding population, but the location of Eco Construction Atlantic is what stands out. Since Eco Atlantic was constructed by dredging and piling up ground measuring 10 kilometers, the plant city directly borders Lagos. Before the restoration started in 2009, the peninsula was essentially non existent. Eco Atlantic appears to have been produced from nothing as a result. According to estimates, Eco Atlantic City will be at least 40% bigger than Victoria Island as it is now. The city aims to attract the 250,000 residents and the 200,000 commuters who come to the island every day to work. It is then up to the investor to create what he wants on his land within the established parameters since Eco-Atlantic City Development is authorized to lease any property as a concession holder and major developer. The Eco-Atlantic will provide the most cutting-edge amenities currently offered worldwide. In addition to an enviable sewage collecting system, first-rate roadways are provided with canals for the drainage of surface water. The development includes everything from skyscrapers to luxury apartments, a new financial district, a private power grid, 
and a shopping boulevard modeled after New York's Fifth Avenue. It is also intended to provide high-quality drinking water. The sewer network runs throughout the city and serves the sewage system that flows into a sewage treatment plant that will be built on the eastern border. Other features include two sizable marinas connected by an internal waterway, an independent 24-7 power supply, fiber-optic communication links to each property, elevated street levels to accommodate underground parking spaces, above groundwater, and seamless documentation and construction permit processes. Lagos state government and the federal government continue to be crucial partners in the Eco-Atlantic Development Project, which is being carried out as a public-private partnership with private businesses and investors providing the finance. Well-known national and international banks have quickly seized the opportunities, with some of Nigeria's largest, including FCMB First Bank, Access Bank, and Guarantee Trust Bank partnering with Eco-Atlantic with support from foreign banks BNP Paribas Fortis and KBC. South Energex Nigeria Limited is working in strategic partnership with the state and local governments. A square foot of land in the city is currently being offered for close to $2,000, according to analysts, who estimate that the project will cost at least $6 billion. By the end of 2020, a few structures, most notably Eco Pearl Towers, would be finished, while several others would be under construction or in the planning phases. The city has also developed into a prominent location for Afro-musical performances and sporting occasions like the Lagos City Marathon and Copa Lagos. While Eco-Atlantic will help with the city's housing issues, its greatest potential is in the economic gains for the people in the state. Those who seek a quieter and safer environment for their operations and businesses and want to be a part of this new project can migrate to the city thanks to the construction of the free trade zones and the present dynamic focus on infrastructure development. As Nigeria continues on its unstoppable path to becoming Africa's financial capital, Eco-Atlantic City signifies much more to savvy investors than merely increasing property values in Lagos. An investment in Eco-Atlantic, currently regarded as the world's most promising growth horizon, will create a previously unheard of opportunity to realize the continent's full potential. The Eco-Atlantic metropolis is no different from the many other projects that have caused criticism. Eco-Atlantic City has come under fire from neighbors since the continued building has recently resulted in coastal erosion and ocean flooding. The amount of water that would be lost from Bar Beach would leak to another location, endangering Nigeria's coastline. Additionally, because Eco-Atlantic is built on a man-made sandbank next to the ocean, it is frequently criticized for being extremely vulnerable to rising tides. Residential areas are submerged in seawater, which also floods access roads and topples power pylons. Some of the residents have also been compelled to relocate as a result of this. However, the Great Wall of Lagos is designed to guard this future city and stop coastal erosion and flooding. What do you think about this upcoming billion-dollar megaproject? Do you think it is time for the world to pay greater attention? Feel free to share your opinions in the comments section below and be sure to subscribe to the channel to see more mega-built videos. Thank you for watching and we will see you in the next video.